We're gonna get some juice for the non-juicer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold on, they gotta let us freaking in. Oh shit, it's not up here. What's going on, gangsters? My friends and my family, your boy Sterling Griffin here. Coming at you with day two. Are you ready? So, if there's gonna be a name that I give to our tribe, our community, our people, it's gonna be hashtag gangsters. And that's spelled, wait, no, not like that. Like that, good, yes, okay. Here's why, gains is what, to me, life is all about. If you ever think about like what makes a person truly happy, for me, in a word, it's progress. If I feel like I'm moving forward, whether that's in my health and love and relationships, in my business and helping others get those gains to me is where joy lies. Tony Robbins says that progress is happiness. And if we want to experience happiness on a more consistent basis, we need to experience and notice progress. That means you gotta be progressing. You gotta notice the gains as they happen. So this means that this journey, you and me, babe, you and me right now, is all about how do we get more gains happening on a daily freaking basis? Because that's where all the joy is, baby. So whenever I ask, like, what is the reason why you're doing that? Or I share with you a reason why I'm doing something, I want you to answer, because gains. Hashtag because gains. No, again, not special. Spelled like that, but spelled like this. Because gains, baby. Gains is our reason for living. It makes us happy. We're on a mission to do it way more often. So we got a super eventful day plan. I'm pumped because we got a very special live event for our students coming this weekend. Now, for those of you that don't know, I run a company called Instant Impact. The reason why Instant Impact exists is to help experts and influencers grow their businesses online so they can make their biggest impact in the world. Held within Instant Impact is a school that I found. And it's a school for people that come from a background just like freaking me because gains and those are online fitness coaches What we do in the wealthy coach Academy is we help online fitness coaches grow to a six-figure earning business within 90 days or less No matter whether or not they have a website. They got paid ads. They got a big audience. We get them there My goal is let's get them all there regardless of their audience size So this weekend we've got 50 students coming into town I can't wait to introduce you to them all coming so that they can figure out how can they grow their business more quickly? How can they bump? Bah, 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 all over the internet in a positive way. But anyway, I'm excited because I got several topics that I wanna be sharing with each of you today. But it's not just gonna be all today, I'm gonna spread it throughout the week. This is just day two, so just calm down. Just calm yourself, all right? It's okay, we gonna make it. I also just came back last night. I didn't get the footage while I was there, but I came back from spending some time and working with Jake Pauls, one of my influencer friends and clients, and uh, we just had an amazing time. But I can say this about Jake. He He's doing well now. He's going way, way big. His stock is on the rise and it's gonna hit so many people in so many different ways beyond entertainment. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be a part of that and I'm thrilled to support him mainly on the journey. Now, today's a big day. One of the big things about today is that recently, I had my warts removed. I don't know if, ever, if any of you have ever had warts before, but they are a pain in the arm for me because I have them on my arm here. But today I'm going for my second treatment. Whenever you get warts removed, they gotta put liquid nitrogen on it. Like some crazy shit, which freezing it up right there, huh? But then, we got another big influencer to meet with this afternoon, so I can't wait to introduce you, but wait till you get to the end of today, because the end of today, something pretty interesting happened. You're gonna wanna pay attention. One hour later. So I'm here at the executioner's office, and I wanted to say this, and by the way, I'm gonna share more about this as the video goes on, so pay attention, yo. I believe in bullying. I think that bullying is a good thing, and that honestly, we need to do more bullying in the world. I was bullied growing up, not in the way that I recommend bullying happening, but today, I'm gonna get these warts fucking bullied. I'm gonna beat that ass of these warts. Not only am I gonna beat the ass, I'm gonna beat the front. We're gonna bitch slap the front and get the ass uprooted off my body. We're gonna bully the shit out of them, because warts are pure evil. I don't love them. I don't even like them. Not only do I believe in bullying and beating the ass of warts, as you probably noticed by now, I have a little friend who has decided he wants to hang out in my life lately, and I don't feel great about it. It's the zit right here. Holy shit, you can land a plane on it. I believe in life. Sometimes we gotta fight some shit. Gotta freaking fight this shit. And if we're gonna fight something, we might as well let it be dead pieces of skin on our arms or bodies. That is a direct quote from Jesus, actually. All right, well, let's see what the doc has to say. Let's see if he can get this shit done. Two hours later. Yo, so, appointment 
was a freaking success. Beat the shit out of those warts. Don't give up about those warts got them off me but we still have uh el guapo here which is the new name of my pimple it's no guapo right there hello compadre i am here to stay i am your friend el guapo is that you the hell is that dude you need to get the heck off my face you are not welcome in my freaking house i'm here to upgrade your appearance don't you appreciate me man i'm here to do good for you bro Listen, we about to have a fight. We about to have a problem. I'm about to bitch slap the f out of you, all right? Because listen, guapo, I get it. You're good looking, but you need to be off on your own. That's why they have cherries. It's for big ass red dots. People like to eat those, but cherries merged with people's faces is a no bueno. Okay, el guapo. I see your point. All right, I will hang on for a couple more days. I, while I find a new place, I gotta search Craigslist. I get it, bro, I get it. You gotta make sure, you gotta shake, take care of yourself. I get it. Come on, let's get it, baby. Yo, so now that we dealt with El Guapo, we're on another mission of the day. So I just got in touch with one of my friends, Brian, who's at his home. He loves to work out. He's friggin' jacked. A lot of people actually ask him, there's a controversy going on right now, about whether or not he did steroids. I know Brian, he didn't do steroids. I figured I'd play into the joke a little bit. So I'm walking right nearby his place. I text him, make sure he's home. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get a juice from a local store here, and then I'm gonna come up on him, and I'm gonna be like, yo, Brian, have some juice, and I'm gonna to splash some juice in his face and then give him the rest of the juice as a joke because it's some goddamn expensive juice. I'm not trying to, you know, waste all the money on juice, just splash him. I'm gonna let him have the juice, but first I gotta splash a little bit on him while he's tanning at the pool. So here we go, let's grab a juice together. Let's see what we got here. Juices, they all look relatively healthy. All right, so me and El Guapo got the juice. You can see it. In creation, my favorite juice place. Just a second, you're gonna have to be quiet now. When I come up on him, I don't know if I'll be able to sneak up on him, but I'm gonna try. And when I do, you gotta be super, super quiet, okay? It's the only way it's gonna work. But first, let's get the juice set up. We're ready, baby. Woo. All right, so we're gonna find him now. I don't know where he is. Got the juice, ready to go. Hold on, they gotta let us freaking in. We're gonna find the juice. Okay, so we can't get in through this door. So we're gonna try plan B, try and get up through the elevator. Be right back. All right, so we found our way up and in. So now all we gotta do is find Brian. Be quiet, be quiet. Is he up here? Where's the boy? Oh shit, he's not up here. Where could our boy be? We're gonna find him, we're gonna find him, okay? The gods are with us. All we gotta do. One eternity later. Is this him? You got juice, what? bro. You got juice, bro. Oh, shit. Oh. Dude, you're taking this vlog oh, away too Oh, damn. Far. Oh, here's your juice, bro. I figured you'd want this. I'm you look so confused with what's <laughs> happening right now. So, i like to introduce you to Brian. He's the one that, that convinced me that I need to be a vlogger, so Brian, I regret that decision. You got so much. <laughs> You got what you asked for, bro. That's so funny. Oh. You don't even live in this building. Dude, I knew as soon as I saw you Snapchatting from the fucking road that you were gonna appear. I was like, I know Stoic's gonna appear. Dude, somewhere. we got you, man. Got so you got me. But we all know you're natural. Or are you? He says gains, but but they're all right here. All natural gains? Seriously, bro, this is juice. Is that for me? It's really for you. I really got the juice for you, bro. You had to pour it on my head, though. Yeah, first. Yeah. It's a new kind of vlogging. You know, like, do good when you mess with people. You've been hanging out with Jake Paul too much, man. Bro, I was just with him last night, all right? <laughs> so, uh, now that you're still Thank home, you. probably when you change shirts, I would yeah. think, you know. We're gonna go get donuts right now. Right now? Right now. Where at? Dude, this is really good. Would you like to join? I would like to join. Come on. Oh, Let's get some cold shit out of luck, too. And Amanda. Hi. Amanda Bucci, too. Hi. Hey, hey. Hey, so I had to prank your boyfriend. I was thinking about texting you and asking for your help, but then I was like, nah, she might I be like, here. <laughs> I'm sneaking. He doesn't even go here. Let's change them real quick, and then we'll grab a donut together. Gluten full. So, they're asking how the hell I found them. We turned him into a monster. We told you to vlog, like, two days ago. <laughs> and here we are. We made it, friends. <laughs> Was looking for them on the tanning roof deck, so I go out there, not there. I go to the tanning roof deck on the other building, because there's two buildings in the complex. Still not there. I'm like, last ditch effort. I'm gonna go to their room, because uh, thankfully I have been here before. If it was anyone else, I would have thrown some bows. Bro, you're you're a peaceful guy. He wouldn't do that to me, come on. <laughs> That's how we did it, master plan over here. 
Brian just asked me if I eat at Jack in the Box before, if I used to do that, and I used to eat fast food for every meal, because I was the guy that hated cooking, even though I was broke, which is a bad combination. Were you a fitness you coach it. at this time? For part of this time, yes. I was a fitness, I was a broke-ass fitness coach that was also a lazy-ass cook. So that meant a lot of spicy chicken. I was like the fitness coach that was eating spicy chicken sandwiches from Jack in the Box, but just working my ass off in the gym so that I wouldn't show up as much. And I did not post those on Instagram. It's good. That was not on That's the Insta story. Donuts, one to two. <laughs> Donuts in the calendar with Amanda here. Put it in my Google camera. Bro, your camera's about to die. You better wrap this clip oh, up. All right, all right, peace. Yo, so with the squad now, we're snagging donuts, and by we, as the guy that's gluten free in the crew, they're the ones getting donuts. No respect for the celiac over here, okay? But I still got my juice. I'm still getting these gains that are not juice like that guy. Still serious gains. Let me grab my juice before they steal it. Chia, 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 green. So I'm a vlogger now, and it's because you two were like, yo, what the hell are you doing with your life? If you're not on video, you're not on YouTube, then you're basically wasting your life. You remember saying those words? Yes. Yeah. I mean, you could have said that in a nicer way, but you didn't, but for whatever reason, it, it worked. You respond to tough love, I feel. I said it to you once, and you didn't implement. You're right. I was being a little bitch. For like, literally the last two and a half years, you've both been saying to me, probably every day. Okay, no, we... <laughs> We, we haven't actually known each other that long, but since I've known you, Amanda, over the last year, you were like, stop being a little bitch, do some video. I kept asking you. Appreciate that. So this this Friday, I'm really excited because what's happening this Friday, Amanda? Your live event. My live event! But not just my live event. Amanda, the big time Bucci, is gonna be speaking. Oh shit, oh shit. Are you ready? Is the answer yes? If it is, come on down, my friends. If not, then just just get just stop just stop watching. Just unsubscribe right now. <laughs> just go ahead. No, but seriously, like and subscribe. It's very serious. So man's gonna be talking about how to build a badass, loving audience. And uh, isn't it funny that I love hanging out with fitness people when they eat donuts. This is like, no talking. <laughs> this is fitness people. This is fitness people. <laughs> I'm a fitness person. Hey, I'm Brian. I'm a, I'm a fitness person. Nice to meet you. Okay, he wants to film his donuts. You want to film the donut? Okay, so we're going to let Brian be able to film his donuts now because they're so beautiful. All right, here we go. Talk to you soon. Yo, so I'm back at the crib. I'm just checking out a live spot from our Facebook group. I'll show you that post in just a second, but I'm so excited because I had an amazing, amazing time with Amanda and Brian. It was totally unexpected. Going to put a little juice in the good old Brian man's life, but um, I want to talk about something real quick. As you all know, I run a company called the Wealthy Coach Academy, and we help online coaches scale their businesses on the internet. And this weekend, I'm hosting a live event for my students here in Los Angeles. And there's gonna be about between 50 and 60 coaches there that we're supporting that are building all high ticket coaching businesses. I have a relationship with an influencer who I'll be uh, bringing to the live event. And I, I just filmed the video at his place last night, it's Jake Paul. And so this was a video, we filmed it at his place. This is him. Talking about what he's gonna be doing at the event. No, that's a that's a guy in the academy, but talking about Jake today. Or maybe I'll just put it on the screen right now. Yo, what's going on, crew? So I want to introduce you to someone very quick. Are you ready? Are you ready? Whoop! They're not ready. Oh, oh shit! What's going down, Marty people? Oh, <laughs> damn. Yo, Friday. It's going down. Oh shit. Do they know? Friday 5 p.m.? I, I did drop it off. Oh, you did? Okay, but I this did. is the follow-up. Oh. Guys, I'm gonna be talking to you about social media, how to build your business e even greater than it already is now, uh, engaging your fans, things like that, how to talk to people, how to stay relevant. That's that type of stuff. It's gonna be lit. I mean, holy shit. So I'm telling you, this is not a guy that you can get in any other context to speak to you. I mean, this is a really <laughs> phenomenal opportunity. You wouldn't say that, but I just know the truth. So guys, like, come ready, bring questions for Jake. Questions. So that we can give you just the stuff that you most want help with. But Jake, I'm so excited. Awesome, yeah, no, it's gonna be sick. Whoa. Friday, five o'clock, be there, people. Be there, baby. Hey. So isn't that awesome that Jake is coming to serve our people? We're gonna talk about audience building, how to explode your audience, your income using YouTube, and also what's next in social media. The thing about Jake is that he's just not a guy that you can 
just pay to show up at your next event. I mean, he won't take your money at 25 grand, 50 grand. He just doesn't need the money and so he just doesn't do it. Because I have a relationship with him, I'm super blessed. I get to share his knowledge, his genius with the academy so that our students can grow their businesses rapidly and their audiences rapidly as a result of meeting him. And he's actually one of the big inspirations beyond Brian and Amanda who I showed you today to start doing YouTube, start doing video because he's obviously one of the people that's killing it. A couple more items on the agenda today and then I'm gonna wrap it up, but I do want to share this thing. I was thinking about plastic surgery today because um, I'm a guy that, I don't do plastic surgery, I'm not interested in it, but there's some people in Hollywood that are down on those that use plastic surgery. For those of you that know, plastic surgery is a big deal in Los Angeles and Southern California. Lots of people have more money here and so they spend it on their appearance and looking great and whatever. Here's my take on plastic surgery, very, very quickly. If you want it, do it. I have no judgment. There's so many people that judge for what? What do you care if other people want to change the way they look so that they can feel better about themselves? Do what makes you happy. What I've learned about myself is that whenever I, I try and judge other people to be more like me, to do things more like me because of the way that I want them to look, then I'm very unfulfilled and I'm more disconnected from others. But if instead, my friends, I accept myself fully, love myself, and I encourage other people to do things that help them love themselves more, then I think the world is a better place. That's the kind of world that I want to live in. So it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a rant on plastic surgery and those that have a problem with it. Enjoy yourself, my friends. Don't beat yourself up or feel bad about it, okay? With that being said, today's vlog is complete. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a fun time with it and with me on the journey with me and El Guapo. El Guapo. Yes, gangsters. See you next time on the Sterling Show, beach. Whoa. El Guapo, that's enough, bro. That's enough. Be nice to the people, okay? <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed today's segment. Like, make sure if you're if you're new to the family, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button so I know you liked it now. And I will see you very, very soon on the next vlog. Peace, love, and gains, baby. Woo!